Nine foods to avoid if you have arthritis. Red meat. Many types of red meat have a lot of saturated fat, which can make inflammation worse and lead to obesity. Red meat also has omega-6 fatty acids that can cause inflammation if you eat too much. Some people with rheumatoid arthritis find that their symptoms get better when they stop eating red meat. However, lean cuts of red meat can still provide protein and important nutrients for people with RA without causing more inflammation. Fish is a good option for protein. Certain fish, like salmon, mackerel, tuna, sardines, and herring, are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, according to the National Institutes of Health. These fatty acids have been linked to reducing inflammation and may help with the discomfort of tender and swollen joints, as shown in a study. 2. Gluten gluten is a sticky protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. It can cause inflammation in some people. Oats are gluten-free, but they can get contaminated during processing, so it's essential to check the label. If someone has celiac disease, which is an autoimmune disorder where gluten causes the body to attack and harm the digestive tract, they should completely avoid gluten. People with arthritis who have gluten intolerance, a less severe condition that can still cause inflammation and other symptoms, might also consider cutting out gluten. Joy Bauer, a registered dietitian and health expert in New York, recommends that people with certain types of arthritis, like rheumatoid arthritis, get tested for celiac disease. Both celiac disease and RA are autoimmune diseases and often occur together, she explains. It's surprising, but some foods you wouldn't expect also contain gluten. Sugar of any kind. If you have arthritis, one of the worst things for your joints is sugar in almost any form. Sugar is a big reason for inflammation in the body. When inflammation becomes chronic, your body starts attacking healthy tissues, including the cartilage that protects your joints. The tricky part about sugar, besides being a kind of addictive, is that it's in nearly every food found in the middle aisles of the grocery store. Even foods that don't taste sweet, like salad dressings, some mustards, and tomato sauce, can have a lot of sugar. To keep inflammatory sugar out of your diet, you not only need to get rid of your sugar canister and desserts, but you also have to check the labels on everything you buy. Look out for sugars that can cause inflammation, such as cane sugar, including pure or organic cane sugar, brown sugar, corn syrup, and high fructose corn syrup. If you have a sweet tooth, there are still some low glycemic foods that can satisfy it. For example, Roasted, baked, or boiled yams can taste like pumpkin or sweet potato pie when mixed with coconut milk and spices. Just avoid adding extra sweeteners. You can also curb your sweet tooth with low glycemic fruits like berries. Or use a natural sweetener that doesn't impact blood sugar like stevia. If you like high sugar starches like potatoes and rice, let them cool before eating to turn them into low sugar resistant starches. Otherwise, they're not a good choice. High-fat dairy. Milk, yogurt, and other dairy products can impact arthritis, but it depends on the amount of fat and sugar in a specific product. Generally, it's advisable to steer clear of full-fat dairy and items with added sugar if you have arthritis. Studies have indicated a connection between a high-fat diet and inflammatory reactions. If you suspect you might be sensitive or intolerant to dairy, try cutting it out for a short period. This experiment can help you figure out if you feel better when dairy is not part of your diet. It's worth noting that some dairy products like yogurt and kefir contain probiotics or beneficial bacteria. Research suggests that probiotics and a healthy mix of gut bacteria can reduce inflammation and potentially alleviate arthritis symptoms. Opt for low-fat options in such cases. Alcohol. The impact of alcohol on rheumatoid arthritis is not entirely clear. Some studies suggest that moderate alcohol consumption may reduce the risk of developing RA. 
For instance, one study found that moderate drinkers had a lower risk of RA, and another study showed that women who drank more than three glasses of alcohol per week had half the risk of rheumatoid arthritis compared to non-drinkers. However, excessive alcohol consumption can lead to an increase in the body's levels of C-reactive protein, a strong indicator of inflammation. Research indicates that drinking too much alcohol might elevate inflammation and potentially harm individuals with RA. It's important to note that many medications, including those for RA, like methotrexate, are processed by the liver. Therefore, it's recommended to limit alcohol intake, particularly when taking medications, to support optimal liver function. Refined carbohydrates, white flour and sugars are okay in moderation, but they are widespread in the standard American diet. Refined carbs might play a role in producing advanced glycation end products known to trigger inflammation. These are harmful compounds formed when fat or protein combines with sugar in the blood. Studies also show that white sugars present in various breakfast cereals and packaged snacks can negatively impact your gut health or microbiome, potentially worsening inflammation. Additionally, they may diminish beneficial bacteria. Omega-6 fatty acids. There are two primary types of polyunsaturated fatty acids in our diet. Omega-3 fatty acids and omega-6 fatty acids each having different effects on the body. Omega-3 fatty acids have anti-inflammatory properties while omega-6 fatty acids are pro-inflammatory. Typically, Americans consume too many omega-6 fatty acids and not enough omega-3 acids. To counter this imbalance, individuals with osteoarthritis can adjust their diet by incorporating more soybeans, corn, safflower oil, sunflower oil, canola oil, poultry, and seeds. Instead of relying heavily on red meat for protein, consider incorporating more dairy, beans, and nuts. Nuts and legumes are similar, but legumes store their seeds in pods like peas and green beans. Highly processed foods. Ultra-processed items like fast food, breakfast cereal, and baked goods often contain high levels of refined grains, added sugar, preservatives, fructose, and other potentially inflammatory ingredients. All these factors may contribute to worsening arthritis symptoms. Research indicates that regularly consuming highly processed foods could heighten the risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis by promoting inflammation and obesity, which is also a risk factor for RA. In a study involving 56 people with RA, those who had higher amounts of ultra-processed food exhibited increased risk factors for heart disease, including elevated levels of glycated hemoglobin, a long-term marker of blood sugar control. Therefore, relying on processed foods may not only worsen arthritis symptoms, but also negatively impact your overall health and increase the risk of other diseases. Salt. While your body needs the sodium in salt for various functions, excessive consumption, which is quite common, can pose problems. Research has linked high salt intake to increased inflammation and a higher risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis. To address this, consider opting for foods that are low in sodium and have no added salt. Enhance the flavor of your meals by using herbs and spices like ground pepper, oregano, cumin, minced garlic or powder, or onion powder instead of salt. These alternatives can enrich the taste of your food in ways that salt cannot. Another option is to try a seasoning mix without added salt. Many grocery stores offer a variety of such mixes, providing plenty of choices to suit your preferences. What other foods do you eat that make your arthritis seem worse? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more content like this.